Maurice Roberts Cemetery was established in 1909. It was once a privately owned family cemetery. This cemetery is the final resting place of some of Slidell's original African American residents. On August 25, 2005, Hurricane Katrina flooded the cemetery causing damage to the crypts slash tombs, making most of them unreadable. Also, the cemetery was 7 feet underwater during Hurricane Katrina. So a lot of these people that you're looking at or residents, or were, or was residents of Slidell, Louisiana. This is an African American cemetery that, are, from what I read online, during Katrina 2005, this whole cemetery went seven feet underwater, and I'm thinking there's no way that's possible because we're not really that close to New Orleans, but we are close to a point where I could say it, that could really happen. Look at this massive oak tree behind me. So you can pretty much choose how you want to be buried. You can be buried in one of these tombs that I'm passing, or you can be buried like this. It's your choice how you want to be buried down here. It's not just here, but there's other areas where it's completely flooded as well. grass really needs to be cut. Man, they get weeds that are this high already. The cemetery doesn't really get tend, I guess, taken care of that often. It looks like two residents have been removed. And on the right-hand side, there are two that are still here inside of this tomb. Woo, we got a whole big section of tombs back here. I see more tombs in the distance. Way back there, two more right there. It makes you wonder how many more are still out here. Oh, look at this. It's still pretty sad to see that this tomb is open. What are your impressions on this place? Leave it in the comments below, let me know what you think about this place, because it really needs some work. Let's take a peek inside of this tomb. These people had the right idea to move their loved ones in the, out of this area. So I'm going to give you a point of view of how tall the grass is here. Look at that.
Oh wow, human skull. Um It's pretty sad to see something like this exposed. What if it was your loved one and you were planning on a trip to see your deceased loved one and you brought your kids with you and they saw that? Well, for your kids, that's something you really don't want to show them. Not a pretty picture for them. Pretty sure you would be upset and calling someone to fix this. Leave me your comments in this situation down below. The tomb that is open that you see on screen, that's where that skull is. And I can see it pretty clear. Yeah, that's not a good sign. But making my way back this way. I'm trying to move slowly because it's summertime and I really do not want to disturb snakes. So let's see what else is back here. Wow, there's even more graves back here. Are you serious? You can see all the damaged tombs right back there. And right here. So just right back there behind those trees were those tombs that you saw that look abandoned or maybe are abandoned. Look at this. Trash. He keeps going further back too. Wow. Doesn't make any sense to me. I'm really starting to get scared to know what else is being, what else is out here. There's an open tomb right there. You can fit three bodies. And this one. It's a gold casket. A gold casket. A gold coffin. People get pretty creative. Whoa. Never seen a giant centipede? That's crazy. We are finding all types of stuff at the cemetery. Look at that. It's all up on this tree. A spider web, by the way. I see caterpillars inside. You see them? Little caterpillars right there? Get this off the tomb. Look 
Get your little friend moving. I don't know who this belongs to. I guess I'll put it there for you. I'm gonna set, I'll set that there for you too. There's a tomb that you can see the inside of. That is one big crawfish hole. Which means that's one big crawfish down there. This cemetery has everything from skulls to trash to family of uh, bugs right there. And I see they have some eggs laid. Shoo! Let's get back. I want to get stung. So I've seen some pretty interesting things at this cemetery that I don't normally see that often. It's like a dump, turning into a dumping ground. A human skull off in the distance. Wasp nests. Not just one, multiple. And really tall grass and whatever else. Something needs to be done with this cemetery. I just noticed something. Why is this cut? But out there, it's all overgrown still. It does look like they are repairing some of the tombs. Not all of them, but some of them from what I'm seeing. They really need to pick up the trash that I'm seeing throughout uh, sections of the cemetery. Or the by there, behind me. And they need to do something with those abandoned tombs way in the back. There's so much work that needs to be done here. And it hasn't been done, apparently. I'm going to let you guys go. I think I spent enough of your time roaming the cemetery. But if you need to get in contact with me, my links are in the video description down below. Like I said, like, share, subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.